Otto's Tales, story time brought to you by PragerU Kids. I'm Jill, and today I'm sharing a famous story of a Swiss hero named William Tell. Otto! You know this story? Yes. I'm impressed, but hey, be careful with that thing, okay? Okay, uh, why don't you go fetch it? <laughs> Let's read the tale of William Tell. Once upon a time, in the country of Switzerland, there was a man named William Tell. He was tall, he was brave, he was a famous hunter who was the very best crossbow marksman in the land. William loved his country, but his country was not free. It was ruled by an Austrian tyrant named Gessler who had no regard for letting people live as they pleased. The Swiss people feared him, but lived as he ordered to not cause trouble. I must test my people's loyalty to me, Gessler declared. He instructed his servants to set up a tall pole in the public square and to hang his own hat on the top of it. Every person who enters our town square must bow down to my hat on the top of the pole, Gessler commanded. The people hated this, but they obeyed. William Tell, however, did not obey. He would enter the town square, stop in front of the pole, and stand up straight with his arms folded in front of him. Ha! William boldly laughed at the hat, propped at the top of the pole. I refuse to bow down to Gessler's hat, and I refuse to bow down to Gessler himself. William's courage terrified the townspeople. What would Gessler do if he found out about this? Gessler did find out about William laughing at his hat and became extremely angry. Gessler was also afraid that if William got away with this behavior, other men would disobey and the country would soon rebel against him. Gessler vowed to punish William in a most cruel way. He decided to use the hunter's exceptional skill against him. Fetch Mr. Tell's young son and stand him up in the center of the town square. Gessler's servants did as they were told. With the entire town gathered around in worry, Gessler then placed a bright red apple on top of the boy's head. You are a skilled marksman, Mr. Tell, the tyrant announced to the crowd. Let's see you put your skill to good use and shoot this apple off your son's head using one single arrow. The crowd was distraught. What if William's hands trembled? What if the wind caught the arrow? Or what if his son moved? His son stood still, unafraid, for he knew his father's skill. William took a deep breath mustered all his courage and focused his concentration. He placed an arrow in his crossbow. One eye squinted to view a straight shot. He took careful aim at the small target and whoosh, let the arrow fly. The arrow hissed toward his son across the square, pierced the center of the apple and whisked it away, straight off the boy's head. The townspeople erupted with applause and joy. As William smiled and embraced his son, Gessler noted something that William was hiding. Why did you hide a second arrow inside your jacket? He asked. Tell replied, the first arrow was for the apple. The second arrow is for you. Enraged, Gessler ordered his guards to arrest William immediately. They threw him on a boat with the plan to lock him up in a dark dungeon. But when a violent storm overtook the lake, William escaped into the turbulent waters. The men thought William had drowned. As Gessler returned home to his palace, William was waiting for him. He jumped out from behind a tree with his crossbow and with a loud thud, that second arrow made it to its target, straight into Gessler's heart. Well, not long after this, William Tell took it upon himself to organize an army. Using his great skill, he led his people to free their country from Gessler's army and restore peace again to the land. The end. Wow, 
This tale is one of our greatest stories about calm bravery in the face of terrible bullying. And it's also a story about having confidence in your skills, no matter how uncertain someone else might make you feel. Hey, Otto, what you got there? Oh, an apple! I'm cut. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't, Otto. No way! Oh, well. You are really skilled with that bow and arrow. Okay, let's give it a go. Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Be careful. Check out some of our other stories, too. I do trust you. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep staying calm and confident. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.